The Bangladesh national football team Bengali, Dala is the national team of Bangladesh controlled by the Bangladesh Football Federation. It is a member of the Asian Football Confederation, and became a member of FIFA in 1974 even though the Bangladesh Football Federation was first founded in 1972. Bangladesh was elected as a member of the AFC Executive Committee 1982–86 and 1998–02. The current executive committee was elected democratically, under an AFC-approved constitution and direct supervision of FIFA and AFC, in April 2008. Bangladesh's national team debuted in 1973 and has yet to qualify for the World Cup finals. They were dismissed in the first round of their only Asian Cup appearance to date in 1980, and the 1986 FIFA World Cup qualifiers. But the nation's best results came at South Asian level where it won the SAF Championship once and were gold medalists in South Asian Games twice. As is the case elsewhere on the subcontinent, top-level football in Bangladesh is played somewhere in the shadow of the country's national cricket team. It was one of Southern Asia's leading team in the 2000s. <laughs> Topic. History. Topic: 20th century. The first instance of a Bangladesh national football team was the emergence of the Shadan Bangla football team during the 1971 Liberation War. They toured throughout India to raise international awareness and economic support for the Liberation War. Following her independence from Pakistan achieved at the end of 1971, the Bangladesh football team played its first official game on July 26, 1973, a 2-2 draw against Thailand. During the period between July 26 and August 14, 1973, the national team played 13 friendly matches against Asian teams, all hosted in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia, resulting in three draws and ten defeats. One year later, the national team played two more friendlies, this time in Bangkok, and were defeated twice more. The next official matches came in 1978, two friendly games against Malaysia and India, also in Bangkok, finished once more as defeats. In January 1979, the qualification tournament for the 1980 AFC Asian Cup began and, surprisingly considering their previous record, Bangladesh opened their campaign with draws against Afghanistan and Qatar. A heavy 4-0 defeat against Qatar followed, but a 4-1 win over the Afghans, the team's first ever victory, saw them qualify for the tournament. In preparation for the Asian Cup, Bangladesh played four more friendly matches, losing three of them notably a 9-0 thrashing by South Korea but scoring their second win, 3-1 over Sri Lanka. The 1980 AFC Asian Cup was held in September 1980 in Kuwait, and Bangladesh were grouped with defending champions Iran as well as North Korea, Syria and China. The Bangladeshis opened the tournament respectably with narrow defeats to the North Koreans 3 and Syrians 1 but were embarrassed 7-0 and 6-0 respectively by Iran and China, finishing the tournament bottom of their table with a goal difference of minus 15. This was the only time that Bangladesh have qualified for a major tournament. In 1982, after a year and a half without any matches, the team played four games in Karachi, Pakistan, again suffering, three defeats and a draw, with a heavy 9-0 loss, this time to Iran. The next five friendlies yielded two victories and three defeats, and by the 1984, the team had only four victories, in ten years. The qualifiers for the 1984 AFC Asian Cup took place in August of that year, with Bangladesh matched with Iran and Syria from the 1980 tournament alongside Thailand, Indonesia and the Philippines. Bangladesh lost all but one of their games, a 3-2 defeat of the Philippines to salvage a little pride after yet another mauling by Iran. A month later, the team played friendlies against Maldives and Nepal and handed out two thrashings of their own for a change, winning both games 5-0. But Nepal answered the day after, defeating Bangladesh 4-2. In 1985 the team made its first attempt to qualify for the World Cup and was grouped with India, Indonesia and Thailand. Two wins from six saw Bangladesh finish bottom of their group. 
From April 1985 to November 1987 team played 13 games, registering four victories, two draws and seven defeats, before failing to qualify for either the 1988 AFC Asian Cup or the 1990 FIFA World Cup, posting just one win in the 11 games they played over both tournaments a 3-1 defeat of Thailand in World Cup qualifying. From 1989 to 1991, the team played eight matches, gaining three victories, one draw and four defeats, before failing once again to qualify for the Asian Cup, this time thanks to a 6-0 drubbing by South Korea. Two years later, the qualifying tournament for the 1994 FIFA World Cup involved eight matches, Bangladesh's longest ever campaign, but no more successful, only a pair of victories over Sri Lanka prevented a complete whitewash which included 8-0 and 7-0 thrashings at the hands of Japan and United Arab Emirates respectively. In 1995, Bangladesh won silver in football at the South Asian Games, losing in the final to hosts India, but qualification for 1998 FIFA World Cup saw a return to form, with the team even losing to Chinese Taipei. The team's fortunes in regional competitions improved. The SAF Gold Cup in 1999, held in Goa, saw Bangladesh again reach the final and lose to India, picking up another silver medal, and at 1999 South Asian Games held in Kathmandu the team finally took the extra step and won the gold medal, the first tournament win in the team's history. However, they were unable to parlay this into a successful qualification for the 2000 Asian Cup and failed to recover from an opening 6-0 thrashing by Uzbekistan. Topic: 21st century. A historic moment occurred for the Bangladesh team on the 12th of January 2001, when they played their first match against a team from outside Asia, a friendly against Bosnia and Herzegovina, who won 2-0. Since 2000, the team have rarely looked like qualifying for either the Asian Cup or the World Cup with successive first-round eliminations by Tajikistan in 2006 and 2010, but the same period has brought a tournament title being champions of SAF Championship in 2003 as tournament host. Bangladesh as the host started by winning their opening game against Nepal 1-0 with Alphaz Ahmed scoring the only goal in the 30th minute. In their next game against Maldives they won 1-0 by a late winning goal scored by Arif Khan Joy in the 90-minute. Bangladesh topped their group by winning their last game against Bhutan 3-0 with Farhad scoring two goals and Karhan scoring another one. In the semi-finals they faced India who were defending champions beating Bangladesh in 1999 SAF Cup final. Bangladesh avenged their defeat four years earlier by beating India 2-1 and thus progressing to their second consecutive SAF Cup final. In the final Bangladesh again faced Maldives, Ranokazam Kanchan gave an early lead to the host nation in the 13th minute with Bangladesh dominating the first half and in the second half a defensive mistake made Bangladesh to concede a goal as Ali Umar equalised in the 57th minute. The final remained tied at 1-1 at 90 minutes of play and extra time was played and after a thrilling 120 minutes of play a tiebreaker was needed to decide the winners. In the penalty shootout the goalkeeper Aminal saved the second penalty of Maldives and at last Mohamed Sujan held his nerves and scored the winning penalty and thus Bangladesh won their first and only SAF title till today. Bangladesh again made it to the final of SAF Cup in 2005 hosted by Pakistan. They started by defeating Bhutan 3-0, Nepal 2-0, and drawing against India 1-1 to top their group. In the semi-finals they knocked out the host nation Pakistan 1-0. In the final they faced India just like in the 1999 SAF Cup final. It was a 50-50 affair as the both teams were a favorite to win, but India won the final and their fourth title with Bangladesh finishing as runners-up and it was the last time the team played in the SAF Cup final. Their last best result in SAF Cup came in 2008 where they finished third. Bangladesh won their second gold medal in the South Asian Games during the 2010 South Asian Games as tournament host. They surprisingly defeated Afghanistan 4-0 who beat the likes of India and Maldives. On 29 June 2011 at Bangabandhu National Stadium in Dhaka, Bangladesh beat Pakistan 3-0 in the 2014 World Cup qualifiers. They went on to play Pakistan again at Punjab Stadium, Lahore on 3 July 2011 where they drew 0-0. This allowed Bangladesh to advance to the second round to play against Lebanon. 
The first game was played in Camille Shamoon Sports City Stadium, Beirut on 23 July 2011 where Bangladesh lost 4–0. The second game was played in Bangabandhu National Stadium, Dhaka where Bangladesh won 2-0. Since Lebanon was able to score more goals out of the two games they were into the third round eliminating Bangladesh. Bangladesh could not qualify into the semi-final of 2011 SAF Championship as they had drawn against Pakistan but lost to Nepal and Maldives in group stage. Bangladesh played three international friendly matches in 2012. They managed to draw against Nepal by 1-1. They started their Southeast Asian tour with a heavy 5-0 defeat to Thailand but drawn against Malaysia by 1-1. <laughs> Lodovic de Kroof Bangladesh failed to qualify into the 2014 AFC Challenge Cup as they lost to Palestine by 0-1 despite their wins against the host Nepal and Northern Mariana Islands in 2014 AFC Challenge Cup qualification stage held in March 2013. Bangladesh could not qualify into the semi-final of 2013 SAF Championship as they lost to Nepal and Pakistan in group matches. Although they had a consolation draw against tournament runner-up India in group stage, it was the second consecutive SAF championship where they failed to qualify into knockout stage. On March 5, 2014 Bangladesh tied a thrilling 2-2 friendly against India at Fadarda Stadium, Goa, India. In the 2015 Bangabandhu Cup, Bangladesh became the runners-up of the tournament as they lost against Malaysia U23 by 2-3 in the final match. In the group stage, Bangladesh lost in the very first match against Malaysia U23 but won against Sri Lanka which led them to qualify in the semi-final round where they beat Thailand U23s by 1-0. On 30 May and 2 June Bangladesh played friendly as preparation of the upcoming FIFA 2018 World Cup qualifiers against Singapore and Afghanistan, losing the first match by 1-2 and drawing the second one by 1-1. On 29 August, Bangladesh played another friendly against Malaysia at the Shah Alam Stadium and it concluded with a goalless draw. Bangladesh played their first four matches of the FIFA 2018 World Cup qualifiers against Kyrgyzstan, Tajikistan, Australia and Jordan losing all of the matches apart from the home game against Tajikistan where they drew 1-1. <laughs> Bangladesh ended their FIFA 2018 World Cup qualifying campaign on a disappointing note as they suffered a huge 8-0 defeat to Jordan managed by Harry Redknapp in their last and final Group B match at the Amman National Stadium on 24 March 2016. With seven defeats and a solitary draw against Tajikistan, Bangladesh conceded 32 goals and scored only twice, once apiece against Tajikistan and Kyrgyzstan. Lodovic de Kroof reappointment On May 2016 de Kroof returned to take charge of the national team for a third time in a failed attempt in the AFC Asia Cup 2019 qualification playoff round one as they lost both home and away matches to Tajikistan. It was reported that he favoured the older players from his previous run with the team rather giving opportunities to younger players. Tom St. Fiat The BFF appointed Belgian coach Tom St. Fiat on 29 June 2016, initially on a short-term contract to guide the national team to the AFC Asia Cup 2019 qualification playoff round two matches against Bhutan. Following a 0-0 draw in the first leg in Dhaka, Bhutan inflicted a 3-1 defeat on Bangladesh at the Changelamithang Stadium in Tempu during the second leg. The result in the Asian Cup qualifying playoff means Bangladesh will not be a part of any AFC and FIFA tournaments for the next two to three years until the launching of the 2022 World Cup and the 2023 Asian Cup qualifiers. Coach St. Fiat called up the veteran striking pair of Jahid Hassan Ameli and Enamel Hak for the match, but to no avail. It was very bad for Bangladesh football. I think Bhutan showed that despite being a small nation, with good fundamentals and hard work, you can still reach somewhere. I think some well-paid Bangladesh players should start thinking if they are ready to play at this level. 
I would like to apologize to Bangladesh Football Federation and all the football loving people, said the frustrated coach. Team image Colours The Bangladesh national football team plays in bottle green shirts and dark red shorts embedded with red and green stripes. Green and red are the historic national colours of Bangladesh, originating from the national flag of Bangladesh. The red represents the sun rising over Bengal, and also the blood of those who died for the independence of Bangladesh. The green stands for the lushness of the land of Bangladesh. The current Bangladesh away jersey is completely diametric to the regular one. Topic: <laughs> Home stadium. Bangladesh plays majority of their home matches at Bangabandhu National Stadium, Dhaka, where they won the SAF Championship in 2003 and 2010 South Asian Games football gold medal. Occasionally home matches are played at M.A. Aziz Stadium in Chittagong, Silhet District Stadium in Silhet, Rajshahi District Stadium in Rajshahi and Shamsul Huda Stadium in Jessore. Topic media coverage All Bangladesh matches are broadcast with full commentary on Radio 4T. Bangladesh's home and away qualifiers and friendlies both home and away are broadcast live on Bangladesh Television and Channel 9. Players Current squad The following players have been called up to the squad for 2018 Bangabandhu Gold Cup. Caps and goals updated as of 10 October 2018 after the match against Palestine. Recent call-ups The following players have also been called up to the Bangladesh squad within the last 12 months. Coaching staff As of July 2018 Results and fixtures The following matches were played or are scheduled to be played by the national team in the current or upcoming matches. Win Draw Loss Coaches Competitive record FIFA World Cup record Bangladesh took part in every FIFA World Cup qualifier although never made it past the first round. The best they did was clinch wins in some of them. Topic AFC Asian Cup record 1956 to 1968 did not enter was part of Pakistan until 1971 1972 not a member of AFC and FIFA until 1973 and 1976 respectively Topic AFC Challenge Cup record AFC Challenge Cup qualification record Topic SAF Championship Topic Asian Games nineteen fifty one to nineteen seventy did not enter, was part of Pakistan until nineteen seventy one. 2002 onwards, Bangladesh U23 plus three overage players entered the competition, as per age limit in football competitions in Olympic Games. Opponents 
The teams head to head records against all 48 nations whom they have played to date, including friendly internationals. Two of these teams no longer exist South Vietnam and Yugoslavia, so Bangladesh have played against 46 of the current 209 FIFA members 43 AFC, 2 CAF, 0 CONCACAF, 0 CONMEBOL, 0 OFC, and 1 UEFA members as of 10 October 2016. As of 8 September 2018, team ceased to exist. Topic Honors SAF Championship Champion 1, 2003 Runner Up 2, 1999, 2005 South Asian Games Gold Medal 2, 1999, 2010 Silver Medal 4, 1984, 1985, 1989, 1995 Bronze medal 2 1991 2016 Bangabandhu Cup runner up 1 2015 Kuwait E Azam International Cup runner up 1 1985 Third place 1 1987 President's Gold Cup champion 1 1989 Four Nation International Invitational Football Tournament champion 1 1995 Myanmar Grand Royal Challenge Cup runner up 1 2005 Bangladesh National Football Team results See also Bangladesh Football Federation Bangladesh Women's National Football Team Bangladesh National Under-23 Football Team Bangladesh National Under-20 Football Team Bangladesh National Under-17 Football Team Football in Bangladesh